The squatters' movements of the 1960s and 1970s in the United Kingdom were initially people occupying vacant flats as a response to a housing crisis which saw them unable to afford rent while thousands of homes stood empty. Later, however, the movement was socialists and anarchists who rejected the idea of private ownership of land. They squatted to try to deny the owners of property the benefit of that ownership. Ownership and possession of land represent a bundle of rights in relation to that land, and one of those is exclusive possession. This means possession with the right to exclude others, possession with the right to determine who is on the property. Squatting challenges this right. When land was occupied by squatters, the owner could bring an action for their ejectment in order to recover possession of the land. That's what MacPhail did here. The squatters obviously knew they were squatters, so the order would be given. They had no defence. Instead, they asked the court to issue an order in equity, deferring the execution of the ejectment, in order to give them time to find new places to live. In reality, this was a delaying tactic. It was not successful, and in response, the court confirmed the rights of exclusive possession of land. Lord Denning began by noting that even without the court, the owner had the right to use physical force to eject the squatters. He said, The owner is not obliged to go to the courts to obtain possession. He is entitled, if he so desires, to take the remedy into his own hands. He can go in himself and turn them out without the aid of the courts of law. He then said, however, that this was never preferable. He said, Although the law thus enables the owner to take the remedy into his own hands, that is not a course to be encouraged. In a civilised society, the courts should themselves provide a remedy which is speedy and effective and thus make self-help unnecessary. However, since self-help could occur immediately, there was nothing to be gained by a legal process deferring repossession. The squatters were ejected immediately, although the court asked the owners to show kindness in their execution of the order. From this case, we learn that the owner of land may eject squatters by court order or indeed by force. Mm